goodness, this mess. Hello, Internet. It's literally the middle of the night, but I was just invited to the British experience in Melbourne, so I need to pick something to wear because I have got to get on a plane and get over there. So help me choose. Listen, like this is our like middle of the night chaotic packaging. Packaging? Packing. This is my stuff. That's my baby over there. I can't even zip this one up by myself, but I've got this like interesting like sheer number. Ba -bum. Not wearing the right kind of bra. I also just literally had a baby, so I have not done any shopping. But I mean, this is cute. This is, this is regal. Gosh. It's got like lace details and stuff. And it's literally the middle of the night. This is like the worst time to film a video, but oh well, this is what we've got. This is what we're working with. Um, so I have this one from the party store that I got well before I was pregnant. And I have a feeling that once I put this on, I'm not gonna be able to get out of it. Um, that's a no. So I didn't actually get into it. I did discover there is a zipper, so I will be able to free myself from this boob jail. I feel like Princess Fiona. <laughs> get out of my swamp. So update, I'm out of breath. It's been like six minutes, I'm still stuck in the dress. Um, everyone in my house is asleep, so I don't know what to do. Maybe I'm flying to Melbourne like this. Um, desperate times call for desperate measures. I think I'm literally gonna have to cut myself out of this dress. I don't know what else to fucking do now. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. It's somewhere. It's okay. I will repurpose this. I will sew it into something else. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. This is the worst idea ever. Oh, okay. Update. 15 minutes. She's free. She did it. She's out of the dress. And she's about to put herself in another dress, so hopefully I don't cut that one up too. <laughs> okay. This is dress number three. Um, fun fact, this is actually the dress that I was proposed to in. Like, this is my proposal dress. And when I bought it, it was too big for me. So I just had a baby, so now it's not too big for me. Though I haven't actually, like, switched it all up. But, I mean, this is cute. This is British, isn't it? I'd say dress number three, but it's really just a choice of two dresses because I chopped one up, unless I'm gonna, like, be a peasant. <laughs> that was completely chaotic, and, uh, I guess you're gonna tell me what I'm wearing. Is it dress one or is it dress three? Anyway, I'll see you in Melbourne at the British Experience. Just luck, Melbourne, we're coming for you.